Okay, this is the Stag Cell P90BK, something like that. It's a Paul style guitar. I'll put the exact nomenclature in the video description. But it's your Paul style. It, but it's got two P90s, which is pretty old school. P90 is my favorite pickup. <laughs> Uh, there's something about P90. It seems like it's sort of got this um, square wave or saw wave sort of thing just intermingling with the, the sine wave of the basic sound. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, it gives it a lot of um, character and a lot of chug. Okay, but you can hear that buzz, right? That's in the rhythm pickup. There's the treble pickup. That's with the distortion unit. Okay, so you get this, you put on a distortion, an overdrive, you get this buzz right there, which is to be expected of single coil pickups. I think you get a phase cancellation when you put it in the middle. It, it mitigates the buzz, at least somewhat, if not entirely. We go here, got the buzz again. We go here, we got the buzz, even perhaps more so go in the middle so if buzz really bothers you but you want a p90 sound maybe that's the answer or maybe uh, I was gonna say to have just one of them but I don't think that would solve the problem just be in the middle position on a, a guitar with two p90s I think that will mitigate your <laughs> So let's try some other tones here. Here's the British sound. So that's just your Joyo British sound and classic chorus. And there's a little Anna Echo in here. Just go mellow. It's an overly slap back. Well, the Anna Echo I'm finding while well, I was away there for all that time. It's good to be back. Anyway, the the knobs on the Anna Echo are not well marked. And when they're those tiny knobs on a MIDI pedal, it's uh it's a bit hard to see what's going on. And the lettering is a black on a deep, deep kind of a crimson or a maroon, like a brick color. So the Anna Echo, Anna Echo doesn't lend itself to. To easily identifying the controls for these old eyes. Um, Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, so that there's some B minor or D major. So an interesting thing you can do is have your open strings, your D and your fifth, A, along with these two notes, D, F sharp, A. And then with your B minor, you get your harmonic over here on around the third fret. Oh, do your D major, your relative major, because okay, say you're in E minor. That's your G major. Basically, your E minor and your G major. So, if you're getting the harmonic out of here, that gives you the B and the D. Let's try it with some British sound. secret E minor harmonic it's almost your F sharp minor there kind of next to your second fret Guitar is not grabbing the harmonics as well as some guitars. As a matter of fact, I think it was an Ibanez with a humbucker on it that I was really getting the uh, easily getting the secret harmonics. Anyway, you can go through and figure out, okay, because. You can figure out your, okay, why just too many thoughts in my head at once and I can't verbalize them. You've got your, right, your major triad. It's inverted because you have your G, B, B, right? so you can get um, A major, B major, C major, D major, E major, so far, uh, so forth, so on and so forth. Okay, so there are a bunch of major triads. Everybody knows these, right, when they start playing guitar. Fifth fret, seventh fret, twelfth fret, where the twenty-fourth fret would be. But listen as you go. There's a G major. a G sharp minor. Very interesting. I had not found that one before. But I have used this B minor a lot on the third fret. It's like a G sharp minor and a B major there on the, just about the fourth fret. thing about the secret harmonics is they're not 
they're not on exactly the frets the way you have with the ones you learn right away, right? That somebody will teach you or that you pick up off of YouTube or whatever. You kind of got to dig for them. They're a little bit harder to pull out of the guitar too. Anyway, this is a great guitar. $230, $220, $240, whatever it was. Um, <laughs> in my Pentatonix video, I told you to be aware of where you are. I could take some of my own advice. Um, be aware of where you are on your string bands. Okay, so I think the tuning pegs are good. I never know about the nut. A lot of people talk about the nuts. I guess it's all the same to me. Basically, I want a guitar to show up and I want to be able to play it. Okay, so let me just try to limit myself to the pentatonic minor and the natural minor in E minor, the relative key being G major. <laughs> Do a little something. That's just the Joe chorus. Let's see how this uh, sounds as kind of a little bit of a keyboardy type thing. Um. <laughs> Natural minor 